Giannis Antetokounmpo is a beloved Greek basketball player who is quickly becoming one of the best, if not the very best player in the NBA. Oh yeah, and he's a retired elite level street vendor. Some would say Hall of Fame vendor, if we're being blunt. Alright, everybody relax. Much like the superheroes trotting about Marvel movies on the big screen, our neighborhood friendly Giannis also has a humble origin story. And we think it has nothing to do with him being bitten by a radioactive spider. Keyword there is think. Prior to becoming the Greek freak, with a name that took announcers years to pronounce correctly, Giannis spent his time hawking gear on the streets of Greece. Food, DVDs, CDs, pretty much whatever could be sold to people, he attempted to do so. I mean, heck, there's probably a person out there right now listening to an early Destiny's Child album that was bought directly from Giannis himself. Why? Because Giannis is, and wait for it now, a survivor. The magic of the internet. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, Giannis being the Michael Jordan of street vending. I was young, the Greek freak told ESPN. I was selling stuff probably since I could remember, like six or seven years old. I was out there helping my mom and dad sell watches, glasses, CDs, DVDs, stuff like that. You must be a pretty good salesman. I was the best. The best? Yeah. I was really good at it. Whatever we could get our hands on, I did it until I was around 17. But I was just doing it because I had to. There was no other option. Alright, this sounds more like the start to trading places than it does the origin of an NBA superstar. Luckily for the Bucks, Giannis followed Eddie Murphy's career arc in the 1980s sitcom. Since giving up the job of being the world's presumed largest freelance street vendor, he's taken the NBA by storm. Milwaukee is widely considered to be a force in the East until Giannis decides to play elsewhere. If that is something that ever actually happens. Everyone knows how this ends up though. As a basketball-loving world finds out about his origin story, Giannis's arc will not be complete until he uses it for the greater good, or is around long enough to use it to become the villain. Maybe Giannis uses his street vending skills to lure a top-tier superstar to Milwaukee, replacing his presumed yells of, Hey, Home Alone 2 here! with yells of joy in the Bucks' brand new arena. They're building an entire new stadium. They're knocking down the surrounding areas building condos, building restaurants, hiring new people because of Giannis. In all seriousness, Giannis started from as close to the bottom as one can be, and has since risen to make millions of dollars to help his family while playing the game he loves. It's a true inspirational story, one which fans should not take for granted. A lot of people know who I am now, Giannis told ESPN. They want a little bit of me, a little bit of my time. But at the end of the day, I still have to remember who I am. What's the reason I'm playing basketball? I do it because I love it. I do it because of my family, and that's it. I don't do it because of the money. I don't do it because of the fame. I just do it because I love it, and I do it for my family because my family enjoys it. In a far worse alternative universe, Giannis is still hawking DVDs on those same streets of Greece. Luckily for him, as well as fans, we don't live in that world. Instead, we have this one, a realm of existence where we get to see Giannis perform superhero-like feats on a near daily basis.